Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top seven free and open source Android app for 2025. This is August and part one series. If you've been following this channel, you know I haven't posted a video for such a long period of time because of one particular issue, which is my Z Flip 6 had a problem of screen protector peeling as well as my phone was overheating. So, and if you're having a screen protector issue, peeling on your Z Flip, guess what? You could be having the similar problem. And before we proceed with this video, you know, these videos are for education purposes only. Once this out of the way, let's go install the crazy one right now. Okay, number one in the list, MEL Launcher. This gives you a customization, any stock launcher or anything pixel related launcher or even a Nova launcher, and you can customize to your liking as well. If you go into settings, you get appearance wise, and you can see right here, I'm not paying for the premium. And you can see you, you can customize to your liking. Whatever color scheme you like, you can select that. Theming wise, you want to go like a metro or material one. This feels like, you know, one of those Windows phone, by the way, I want to stick with one of the round circle one. An icon style, home layout, whatever grid, 4x4, you know, horizontal and vertical one. Layout scale, or you can go smaller. So depending on your liking as well, again, this is completely free, you can see it. So you want to go a grid or stack. And the recommended apps at the search bar is must use or recent app, whatever you like. You can see this gives you a whole different level of customization. And if you're looking through this one, there's adaptation as well additional settings if you're going to go uh, select the additional settings as well fully customizable even though you're not paying for the premium services and again if you want to support this developer go follow them and ask and you want to have any question you can obviously email that any question as well give it a try and comment down below let me know what's your favorite one and let's go to app number two app number two is called new tube so n-u-t-u-b-e so new tube this is a completely free sort of alternative uh, for youtube you can go search whatever you like let's go search our channel genus x6 you can play any sort of a video Video right here and then what I will be doing is I'm gonna give you a, a trick right here boom you can see it is playing on the background without any issue that's what you'll be getting so background music played out of this one again it is a normal YouTube player whatever you want to call it and comment out below what was your previous application before you install this one move on to app number three now okay app number three in the list is called edit this is one of the best editing tool like you can do voiceover you can get a capstone for completely free and whatever CapCut has it this does have it and uh, maybe some AI feature out of this AI feature but this has a better edit if you're looking for any of those sketchy video editing tools out in the internet and you must be installing multiple video editing tools if you have comment down below what is your favorite one because it has changed the way i edit the video nowadays i use the division result as my go-to one i use i uh, edit now i used to use a cap cut previously but after using this one i'm not going cap cut anymore try comment down below if you like this application or not let's go to app number four and you want to give it a hands-on with the linux command line guess what this is the best application you can try this is called linux command and if you are uh, confused check the description below you'll be able to get this particular one completely free by the way this is open source and you'll be able to get any sort of things in here that means any sort of command line a majority of the linux nowadays it's not like what it used to be back in days that you have to use command line you can get click install option for if you want to try application but if you want to go a little bit pro level or you want to go advanced level you can use command line as well so by the way they're different linux operating system you got one is Debian, you got another one's uh, Fedora, Linux as well, a Red Hat as well, Lot multiple Linux operating system as well. So again, and different operating system use different sort of a repo or package manager or things like that. The majority of the time, a lot of people use Debian, which is uh, Ubuntu or Linux Mint. I mean, Linux Mint is very familiar if you want to try uh, any sort of Linux and you can use um, apt, apt, install whatever package you want to install. And there's a load and load of option you can get out of here. So if you want to go hacking tools and I'm not recommending exploding tools as well whatever you can use it right here and if you're going to networking as well get wi-fi password from your own system as well you can just copy and paste it if you don't want to type it in you can do that as well so this will be a basic guide for you if you want to use linux and if you want to use the command line version as well so give it a try comment down below which one is your favorite one out of these and let me know why you like to give it a try with the linux if you are happy with windows or mac let's uh, go and app number five now next app on the list is called tomato so tomato it's not actually fruit this is a focusing 
tools. If you are one of those person who likes to fiddle around and while you're doing some work and you just wanna, you're not focused person like me, trust me, you need one of this application. Why? Because it gives you focus, it gives you a time to take break as well. If technically, like if you go to set up a timer, whatever timer you wanna set it up to, you can set it up and you whatever time you wanna set it up to for your breaks, you can set it up as well. So it gives you, uh, now for example, I wanna use this one for just say focus is two minutes for the video and then have a break I want a five minutes and then longer break is 15 then you can set yourself up and you go back here and I'm gonna set myself at a five minutes timer and I want to go have a break guess what two minutes break is there I want to go for uh, you know short break and go back focus mode go back so it, it is it gives you an, a, a very specific time window like a time blocking system so if you want to be focused if you're gonna use some sort of a timer you don't need to buy one of this clock in front of things that a lot of people does use that use this application trust me this gives you a whole different level so this is going to be one of the best productive application you can install on your android device completely free again open source as well give it a try comment down below and by the way there's nothing in the settings apart from information you can go back here and you can check your stat how focused person are you if you are one of those person like me trust me you are not in focus comment down below if you like this one or not let's move into app number six app number six in the list is called app lock so this is one of the best and open source app locker available for Android whatever you have installed compare with this one and see what you're gonna get if you have a kid or if you have your device that you don't want anybody to use it or you don't want anybody to have your access for anything like a you know gallery or you want, you don't want anybody to uninstall an application guess what this is the best application at first when you install it it is kind of fiddly you have to give sort of a different permission as well once you give different permission once you are here after putting the pin code in you can select in you know, two ways one is a biometric which is a fingerprint one is a pin and let's explore a couple of things once you install this one I want you to follow the exact same thing so you won't miss out press the gear icon once you're in gear I can make sure you turn on the biometric so occasion or you want to set it up anything you can use a fingerprint instead of uh, using a password or pin as well prompt for biometric again you can turn it on turn it back off depending on how you like it as well disable haptic you don't like a vibration like haptic um, in the feedback yes so you can turn it off you can change the pin and this is another one is unlock duration so if you want this um, device or any app to lock immediately you can set lock immediately as well you can set up to one minute five minute 15 30 or one hour so if you constantly use the same application over and over you can just select to your liking as well and anti uninstall and specifically if you have a kid I want you to turn this thing on and you're gonna thank me why because once you enable this one if you want to uninstall any application on your device it will ask you for a pin you can put it biometric you use a different pin than your of your own device because it will not allow them to uninstall it that's what I mean if you use this application and try to compare with what you're using if you want to support the developer you can go and support the developer as well if you're going to see the source code if you are one of those person who tinker around with the source code you can go check the source code I want to give you a demonstration here find uh, the app edit so I've already turned it on so let's go back here and then open the edit application and see what everybody does so as long as when you click on that one it will ask you for the your biometric scan you can use a pin again use a different pin than your lock screen one for me it's biometric I'm gonna just do that and boom you can see it actually works without any problem so and you can work with it and once you close this application you go back and open it it will ask you for it again you can change it uh, depending on your liking if you want to lock that within a one minute five minutes or 30 or one hour interval changes and give it a try comment down below if you like this application or not or what's your favorite one compare with what you're using okay the last but not the least is called raven this is going to be a great news reader if you're one of the person who likes to read news or you want to save any sort of an article that you see you want to read later as well for offline mode this is the best application you can use it you can go back in subscription first when you see it you might not see one of these you go back in subscription and then change whatever you're liking so in category world technology india custom if you want to use a custom url you can press the custom as well you can rs feed or Morris one so you can just custom feed and then you can select the URL and it will actually load and the feed as well now for me I'm just gonna for this video purpose I'll just select a random the Guardian one and when I go press the feed you can see I actually and um, when I click on that one I can read this feed it actually loads faster than normal URLs so if you go in the Guardian you try to select it there's multiple ads and bloatware you can see there's no ad in here if you want to go to a real website where this actually pulled from you can select that icon you'll see that there you go 
trigger. This is what I mean. Like the ads just triggers and random things and you can't even read the things properly. That's why you need a news reader like what I'm showing you right here. And if you want to read something later, you can select that and you can see there's a download icon here. So this right here and it will actually go back in a saved form and you can just open it if you liked it and then read it later. So you can see it's actually saved here. It takes a while to load it. Then go back share with your friends and family members. You can press a share as well and you'll be able to enjoy this one. It's one of the best one. And then if you go back here in the settings, well, let's go turn on the dark mode so that way everybody can see this one. Uh, the theme is Raven one. You can select whatever style you like it as well. Just want to read the news. You don't want to see any photo pictures. Guess what? You can turn it off or maximum article per subscription. You can increase and decrease depending on your liking as well. Uh, translate as well. It will actually translate to different translate languages as well. So you can do default language English or whatever language you have it here, you can set up the language as well. This is the beauty of it. You can read any news from the world and you're still going to be able to read with your own uh, obviously language, whatever you use it as well. And the translator instance is obviously has set to simply translate the org or you can set up to different one uh, whatever we have a filter with tags they select and then filter the article with tags you can select it as well and then search your suggested providers google obviously or you can set to ap news google yahoo or none a trend is based on whatever location you are on so if you are like me in australia i would set up to australia if you're in the uk us or anywhere else in india as well so you can select that and it will actually pull the information based on your location as well this is a great news reader application give it a try comment down below and let me know what you think about this one this sums up my total top seven must have android application part one for august and comment down below which one is your favorite one and what do you think about this application and what about this launch as well and meanwhile guys be happy stay safe this is genius x6 signing out peace